What's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire, and welcome to my first birthday. And uh, that's that's a little crazy. Coalfire turns one today. We have been around for an entire year, and some of you have been with the channel a hell of a lot longer than others. But I, uh, <laughs> it's just it's crazy to me that it's been an entire year already. And I wanted to do something kind of funny that I think I can only do once, which is completely fine. And that is go back and watch my first video together. And I've never done anything like this, so it's going to be a little weird uh, doing something like this. But I think it has the potential to be pretty funny to like hear as a as a community go back and watch the video that started it all but welcome back to einar the first game i ever played what is up everybody my name is Coalfire, and welcome to a little game called einar um i found this while i was bridging around <laughs> itching around on itch.io oh my god browsing around on itch.io and uh, yeah it looked really so so the first thing first thing i have to say is it took me a very, very long time to... Is my mouse capturing? Capture cursor. There we go. Now, now can you see that? Wonderful. It took me a long time to get the, the facial animations uh, tuned correctly. And I don't think I've talked about it on the channel before, but I prepped for about two months before I launched my first video on how to make a 2d animated face cam how to uh get it so it could track my facial animations in real time and what programs i needed to use and how to edit audio and how to edit video and all of this stuff i spent about two months researching absolutely everything that i needed to know and this shit show up in the top left corner is what happened and i'm sure you can see in the video right now i've shrunk the size of the face cam considerably even though it is still exactly <laughs> all of the same assets. Interesting. It's um, independently developed by a group. Oh God! Look how a, twitchy uh, it is. University in the Netherlands. Oh and yeah, Dreampunk based man. around Norse mythology, and that's everything <laughs> oh I know about God, the game look, so far. Look how twitchy uh, it is. Let's get into it. <laughs> I know. Oh, and it's back when I. <laughs> Oh my god! We have a nice little snowy village here. With a nice oh. little cozy foyer. Oh my god, it's so distracting! I will not forgive and I will not forget. Oh. I. I. Oh my god! I swear, every single time I go back and I watch this, it's worse than the last time I watched it. But, uh. Oh my god, yeah, this this kind of stuff. I I tweaked and I tuned so much of it so that it uh, was a lot more subtle. The movements weren't nearly as much as they used to be, and I also got rid of the like up and down facing ones, so there's only like right facing and left facing now, which I don't think you see left facing very often because my, my other monitor is over on this side. But if you also watch the mouth, you can see how much more like drastically animated it is just because I, I hadn't gotten all of the scaling done correctly. Oh Don't shit. Rock. Kill us all. Can you start now with the apocalypse here? <laughs> this was also like my sixth take playing the entire game through. Because every other time I had done it, I, I had fucked it up somehow. And this is the best version that made it through. But the bigger we are, the harder we fall. This is oh, a nice production value for a... Um, <laughs> and a year later, I still pretend to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it moves around so much. I can't look at anything Good else. Production value for a beta. Even if it ends with my own death. All right. Let's go kill a rock. I know. Oh, back when I did cards too. I hope I'm too. pronouncing that correctly. I really have no idea. 
That's still a thing I say every single time I play something. <laughs> oh, okay. What have we here? Need to move around. So I got the camera. You know, really, my okay. audio is not too bad. Bow. Fired a bow. Shield. Oh, God. If anybody's played uh, Dark Souls, that reminds me of uh, Valor Heart. Dark Souls oh, 3. Yeah, I've been playing Dark Souls 3 at the time. Does right bumper not do anything? Okay. X. But yeah, y. I I had played through oh, the game sweet. like a little dodge two roll. Two or three times at this point, and I was like pretending Let's to learn go. the controls. <laughs> oh, because I had screwed up the other recording so many times. Oh man. Who was that running? Oh, oh god. <laughs> what was that scream? Wilhelm oh, scream. No, I don't mean to laugh at it. I'm sorry. No, it's that completely kind of fine, old Cole. Hiya. Oh, man. I, I remember this game so well. It, it, like, became part of my life for a short time just because of how much extra oh, stuff Lock on. I ended up doing with it. Wham. Nice. Because we ended up uh, interviewing the developers right afterwards. Jesus, that brings a whole new meaning to hand axe. Uh. Okay. Oh, fuck that, yeah. That wasn't a bad pun. Heavy attack is heavy. Oh, nice. Oh, you go, Cole. You got this. Look at you looking know, down the at that screen. Are definitely a little wonky right now, but hell, we're in beta. It's okay. Very forgivable at this point. I also love how like how quiet I was most of the time. Like nowadays, I I definitely feel a lot more comfortable talking so all the time. Way? But okay, no inventory system or items. I, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable talking a lot more often than I did back then. But that's uh, that just comes with, you know, learning the format and getting comfortable in your own skin. But I feel like a lot of the time, even in combat nowadays, I do have a lot less to say about what's going on. But it's it's still interesting to me to see like how much my commentary has changed just from, uh, you know, I guess, Jesus, it is a year ago, so a lot can change. Is there anything yet? That's cool, that's cool. God, I was so scared. Uh, if anybody's wondering, this is done in the Unreal Engine. Yep, I still talk um, about that shit all the time. Looks pretty good. And I've, uh, I've messed around with the engine before. Just um, for shits and oh, okay, yeah. Ooh, big man. So, I I've I've played around a tiny little bit with Unity and Unreal, but I I don't know anything about them really. I've created some environments in them and like a couple basic first-person blueprints, but nothing more than that. Um, but yeah, I I still always end up talking about the engine at least a lot of the time cuz I don't I don't know how important that is to people. I think it's always interesting. But one thing I've I'm noticing in this is how bad the frame rate is and it was something that I I hadn't realized. It was back on my old uh rig when I was running the 2 AMD or the Sapphire Radeon 295X2s and Unreal Engine does not like AMD video cards and vice versa and I I've always had trouble on uh, recording Unreal Engine games, and uh, Bandicam can usually do it a little bit better than OBS, uh, for whatever reason that is. I, th I think it has to do with the encoders, but um, God, the, I, it wasn't even something I was thinking to look for at the time. So I didn't realize that bad frame rates could have been a thing in a in a game, and the fact that this is like my second most popular video ever. I don't get it. I feel like a lot of people have gotten a bad first impression of the channel because my first video <laughs> is my second most viewed uh, video. But you, uh, you know, it is what it is. Bro. I can tell. You got that uh, masturbation joke. Right arm of yours. Yeah, still not above that. That hasn't changed. I can relate. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that I said that. But yeah, Unreal Engine. Um, <laughs> oh fun to play God. around with. And. Uh, Jesus it's entirely Christ. free now for anybody who wants to get in and mess around with the engine and see what they can do. I think the sync ends up being pretty off by the end, too, because I didn't know anything about drift. But I don't... Oh. <laughs> the... Oh, you got this, Cole. 
controls on, are man. a little unresponsive at this point. Yeah, I do remember that. But that's not know. me making excuses. It's uh, just a minor complaint at this point. Where <laughs> it's a beta demo. Listen to me, I like to remember that. justify uh, everything a, that I'm saying. Like any kind this of AAA development at this point. This doesn't feel very good, but I know we're still in a For demo, it so it's okay. I mean, Jesus Christ, well done, guys. I feel like I'm a hell of a lot more blunt about that oh. kind of shit now. I'm just like, well, this thing kind of sucks. Bring it on, big man. Let's As opposed this. to, like, justifying Dance. everything that I'm saying. <laughs> just not saying anything. Oh my god, look at the face! Close to it. Ah. Oh, oh man. Over my head. This, is, this is a little painful, but I like it. You know? If you're not embarrassed like by your quality, past self, the animations and everything for an independently developed game like this, fucking fantastic job. It still is pretty impressive. I still think this game's pretty impressive for a, for an indie game, even with how short it ended up being. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's what oh. I mean. Jesus, there we go. That's how many takes. It the takes, the takes sink to get to the center of your tootsie pop. <laughs> Like, just how quiet and... Everybody remember those fucking commercials? Withdrawn I am. Shit. And then I have to, like, justify my... my quote. I don't know, once you get in and get a feel for this, it, uh... It actually plays pretty damn well. <laughs> sure, it's a little... jittery with the frame rate and all that, and... No, that's your recording um, program, controls Cole. Controls can be a little bit... slow. Uh, God, look at a your little too loose egghead. But I don't know. Once you get used to it, is it's definitely playable. <laughs> like that's a compliment. The game is playable. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, how far into okay, this are we? Let's go. Okay, um, yeah. Let's let's skip the combat. Let's just jump a little bit ahead, so we can get. You. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Is the shit you like lay on the ground hurting me? I can't tell. Oh, breaking into accents. That hasn't that hasn't changed this at all. This is really pretty though. Yeah, it is. Thanks for saying it for a fourth time past me. <laughs> I fucking find like Pride Rock or something. Sing the circle. Of the oh race. my god, I remember this. Oh god. I actually sang a little bit of the circle oh. of life. Well that went better than expected. Oh god, because I was trying so hard to be funny. Can I get up on one of these? Because I- Yep! Yep! Oh god! Oh. Not so in ya! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Whatever. I was trying so hard! <laughs> it's so on, oh, it's so goofy. Can <laughs> you shoot through your armpit? Oh my god, yes. I did not want to get close to you. But... Oh, shit. Yeah, he came out of nowhere. Alright. I do like how the weapons and everything just kind of magically materialize. Oh god. Just keep swinging over my head, bro. <laughs> Don't I die in this fight? And then, like, I have to go back and redo the entire thing? How much time's left in the episode? Okay, no, we're getting pretty close to the end. For you. Come on! <laughs> I'm just gonna take out your leg. <laughs> you gotta love the ragdoll physics, too. I did never notice There's that, how the, sort of the magma on them, like, fades. A wee little fortress. He's still breaking into bad accents. Come on. Yep. That's that's uh, yeah. that's me oh. for you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Me. I don't think I have much to say through the combat because I was. Oh yeah. Uh, what did I say here? What kind of games inspired this? But. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I don't know. I it doesn't feel as tight and heavy and punishing as a game like. Dark Souls would, but it also doesn't feel as overtly button mashing, hacky slash. It's like what Devil May Cry. Kind of way that uh, God of War does. Oh, God of War. It's and kind of this 
happy little medium in between. Oh yeah, and then I, uh, the I really new like God the of War has come out. Since for then. what it is, I mean, I don't think I could play an entire game in this style, um, in the state that it's in right now. But for an early development build, so it, the big uh, kicker of this is it looks like it has. That was oh, the entire oh, game. Sweet. Has a lot of fucking potential. Um, oh god, the sniffles. Yeah, sniffles. So. Like I said earlier, I found this game on Itch.io. It is called Einar. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> but I do that kind of justification it looks like all it the time. Has still, a shit ton of potential, and uh, I definitely want to follow the development of this game. And yeah, I still say that a lot. Overall, too. everyone who is involved with this, well fucking done for what it is so far. And I am really, really excited to see what you guys do with this. Um. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> and then fantastic. Not editing out my silences. We just we just hanging out, bro? Really pretty game. We're going back to the main menu. We still have more credits. Oh god. I want to let this run out because everybody who's involved with this deserves the fucking credit. Oh man. I don't know, the, the character design, the animations, the environment, the music, <laughs> all of the pieces by themselves right now, I think they are they are fantastic. But um Oh god, the sniffles. Know, when you get down into the nitty gritty and you start feeling it, um it does feel a little strange, but hell, we're in uh we're in a beta. And I really want to see where this game goes. Everyone who is involved with this game, well fucking done. I am excited. Was to my see outro to still the same? Um, until there's more. And um, my name is Coalfire. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, and there's my original end slate. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, the, the outro music was made by a friend of mine who is a semi-professional, professional musician. I don't know what to call him, but, um, I, I always link him down below if you guys want to check out the rest of his music, but it, it's funny to me seeing like how similar some things are and how different others are and how much you can still fuck up a year in. Cause I just realized that this entire time. Uh, OBS hasn't been recording the desktop audio, so whoops, I'm going to have to splice all that back in. That's fine. Um, but you know, I still talk about a lot of the same things. I make a lot of the same jokes, but I just, I feel a lot more confident in all of it and a lot more confidence in, in what I have to say. And some of that has come from practice. I mean, I've been doing this every day. Um, for a year two times a day for 11 months because i think it was about a month then that i switched to two videos a day and some of it comes from realizing how much a lot of my feedback has been appreciated and uh how like on point a lot of it has been and very early on i was so scared to give feedback you know i've been i've been playing video games for something on like 18, 19 years, they've been a part of my life for nearly as long as I've been aware of, uh, being conscious and, you know, you learn some shit in that time. And I think the biggest thing for me has been learning how to articulate those thoughts and then becoming confident that they are valid. And I think that's ended up helping me immensely in, how I portray myself on the channel, how confidently I can get things across, and uh, not trying to be funny, just being myself. And I, it ends up looking really cringy going back doing that uh, Lion King bit on the hill. But I think it's a good representation of, you know, <laughs> back then how hard I was trying to be a funny, likable character. And now I'm just myself. And when I'm serious, I need to be serious. And when I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole. And when I'm funny, I'm funny. But I am always me. And I think for my first couple of videos, I was 
trying to be somebody that I wasn't. And, you know, I think that's okay when you're finding your footing, but in the long run, it's, it's going to affect who you are when you're trying to be someone else. And it's, it's not sustainable pretending to be something that you're not. And I learned that very quickly and I feel lucky for having learned that, but I made this video a year ago, a year ago today. And the day this goes up is a year, uh, that it was released after. So, wow, 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 wow. And 5,000 views on my first ever video. I think past me, one year ago, me would have looked at my subscribers today and have both been extremely impressed and somewhat disappointed by the numbers. But I've also come to realize that the numbers aren't all that matters. Because I, I think I had set a goal for myself of hitting a thousand before the first year was up. And you know what? We made it more than halfway there. And that's more than a lot of people can say. And I'm, I'm more than ecstatic about that. But it's not about the numbers. It's about the community. It's about having fun. And I went in with that mindset. But I don't think it was as ingrained as it is right now. And I'm happy that that's what I care about. I'm happy that it's not about getting the most subscribers and getting the most views and getting the most monies. While it would be nice to be paid for some of this stuff, um, outside of my, my two glorious, wonderful, and lovely patrons, which, hey, that's still a thing. It's at the end of every episode. If you want to become a patron, shameless plug, which I really hate doing. But yeah, this has been a bit of a retrospective. Looking back on my very first video one year later. And I, if I can get my outro right. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.